morning class. Morning. Welcome to ICT Pin. I've not been able to hold classes for a long time because I've not been around for a couple of months. But today, we are going to a new topic in ICT cleaning known as booting. What do I call it? Booting. 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 Everybody, we have what we do when we power on our devices. Adi, you have phones, you have gadgets, you have computers. You put it on. The process that you use in putting on your computers or starting your computer is known as what? Booting. Whether you restart it or whether you put it on after you are shutting down, it is known as what? Booting. So next time when somebody says that you should boot the computer, they are telling you to what? Put it on. So that's booting. Then why do we need to boot? You see, your computer CPU does not have its own software. Which means that there must be something that enables the software to work. That's why for the main memory to communicate with your CPU, some set of instructions must be taken. And those set of instructions is known as booting, so that it can load those processes into the memory so that the computer can execute instructions. We have types of booting. The first type of booting that we know is known as the word cold booting. Any time that you put on your computer from a, a, a shut down state, that you have totally shut down your computer or your phone, and you are now putting it back on, it's known as what? Cold booting. When the computer starts from a powered up state or a shut down state. I'm sure you are aware of that. You do that a lot, Abby. Yes, then, the second one is known as warm booting. Process of restarting your computer. Or, let's say you are doing something on your computer, and mommy called you. You didn't want to shut down the computer, you just left it, and I went to see mommy. By the time you come back, you might notice that the screen has turned off. If you press any button to make it start itself, that's warm booting. Or, your computer is freezing, it's hanging, or your phone is hanging, and you restarted it. That's what? Warm booting. You decide to hibernate your computer, that's what? Warm booting. The sequence that we use, sequence of command that we use on the computer to execute warm booting is control plus alt plus delete. When you press this combination of keys, it executes your warm boot to allow you to restart your computer. Do you understand that? But during the process of booting, there is a particular page that we see on the computer, a black page like this, black, with several instructions. It is known as POST. What did I call it? POST. It is known as Power On Self Test. You see, before, before the computer can work properly, the computer needs to check itself whether all the hardware that you have connected to it is working properly. So, the computer must test itself to verify all the hardware they are working properly. Do you get that? Then, after that, it will check the devices like RAM, your random access memory, the hard drive, the CD-ROM, keyboard, and other things. In the previous video that I did on ICT training, we were able to identify that if the keyboard is not connected to the computer, the computer cannot continue booting. I hope you remember that if you watch previous videos. So, if anything happens during the post and there is an error or a problem, the post might not complete, depending on the type of hardware that is missing. For example, if it is keyboard that is missing during post and the computer is telling you to press F1 key to continue, can the booting continue? Because the keyboard is not connected, where will you press F1 key? Do you get? Which means that when a device is missing or is malfunctioning on the computer, the post cannot continue. But if it is just some other peripheral devices that is missing, 
the post can come to. Am I communicating with you? And sometimes, how do I, you identify that there is an error? There is always what? A beep sound. When you put on your computer and it's giving you a beep sound, you see, each beep on the computer signifies different errors. Sometimes, when it beeps like twice or thrice, it might be RAM. When it beeps once, it might be your keyboard. Sometimes, the power button can be blinking. That's another type of error. There are several errors that can generate several beeps. Now, if, as I said earlier on, if the port is unsuccessful, it gives you a beep, and the beep code will determine the type of error that the computer has. This is an example of the power on self test page. You see this black screen? It is telling us that some things might be on the computer and some things might not be on the computer. Now you have seen what power on self test is. Let us see a practical example of how post work. Please power this system. Now, the computer is booting. Look at the instruction on the screen now. You can notice that it is telling us that drive 4 is not found. If you notice drive 4 very well, it is probably an hard a hard drive or a CD-ROM drive that is missing because it is telling us a parallel ATA or parallel uh, device which is missing. Then, another one is that the system battery voltage is what? Is low. And it's telling us that we should press F1 key to do what? To continue. This page that you are looking at is known as the what? The post power on self-test, which is part of the booting process on the computer. Please press F1 key to continue. Now that you have pressed F1 key, you will see now that the booting process has what? Has continued. And the computer will enter the desktop. And you can do whatever you want to do on the computer. So, that is all about power on self-test. Thank you everybody for watching.